Now, in GCSE Maths, you are expected to be able to tell the time from an analog clock face. So, this is only going to be a very short video on how they're going to try and trip you up. Now, at the moment, I've set up this clock so it's reading 3 o'clock. We don't know if it's AM or PM, all we know is that it's 3 o'clock. The large hand is pointing towards the 12, the smaller hand is pointing towards the 3, the smaller hand is the hours hand, so it identifies the hour, and the larger hand is the minutes hand, which represents how many minutes have gone past in the hour. And currently it's set at 0 or 12. Okay, so this is at 3 o'clock precisely. So, what if I needed to write down or show what the face of the clock would look like when it is 3.30? Okay, now, in the majority of cases, this is what a student would usually draw. Okay, and this would be their 3.30. This, however, is wrong. If you look at a clock face, um, and you twist it round to 3.30, so you reset the time to 3.30, this is not what the clock face would look like. The hours hand would not be directly pointing at 3. It would instead be halfway between 3 and 4. Okay, so the hour hand doesn't just snap from 2 to 3, from 3 to 4 on the hour every hour. The hours hand does move round as well, but at a slower pace than the large minute hand. And so, the hour hand should be pointing directly between 3 and 4 when you draw it, okay? So if it was a quarter past, if it was a quarter past three, then the hour hand should be a quarter of the way between three and four, okay? So that's how they're gonna trip you up if they're going to try. 